Before we start, I want to make it clear that there's no definitive answer to this. And for the five foods that I mention, there's probably at least another 10 that I could have mentioned. That said, here are my top five nutrient dense foods that you should consider adding to your diet if you don't already. Number one, wild salmon. Not factory farm salmon, but wild like sockeye salmon. Packed full of omega-3s and vitamins and minerals like selenium, vitamin D and B12. It's also an amazing source of protein, rich in texture, high in flavor. Get it in your diet, if you like salmon, of course. Number two. Blueberries. Rich in antioxidants and flavonoids, which can help with degenerative disease and oxidative stress. They really do come under the title of superfood. Eat them every day. In fact, all the berries are an amazing addition to a healthy eating plan. Number three. Avocado. Now I know some people love avocado and some people absolutely detest it, but it's rich in monounsaturated fats, high fibre, full of lutein, which is amazing for the eyes, and a whole host of other health benefits. It's high in fat, but it's a great source of fat, so please don't shy away from it. Plus it's the main ingredient in guacamole, so it can't be bad, can it? Just go easy on the nachos. Number four, grass-fed beef. Rich in vitamin E and vitamin A, which are beneficial for the immune system and healthy eyes and healthy skin. It's a great source of CLA, which is conjugated linoleic acid which can promote weight loss and maintaining muscle mass. Grass-fed beef also contains three times the amount of omega-3s than normal beef. So for that alone, it has to make my top five. And number five, almonds. Healthy fats, fiber, protein, rich in magnesium and vitamin E. Almonds are loaded with antioxidants and so many health benefits and can actually decrease hunger in some people. They're close to being a perfect food and should definitely be considered a superfood. So there's my top five. Close contenders and special mentions must go to broccoli and kale or any cruciferous vegetable, Brazil nuts, olive oil and tomatoes. Or tomatoes as our North American friends say. I hope this helped guys but let me know what you'd add to my list and why. And I've just realised this is probably one of my only videos where I've not made a joke. I'm not too sure how I feel about that. Until next time.